time. It's something that seems to control our every waking moment. From the very moment we wake up to the sound of an alarm clock to the end of the day when we finally close our eyes, time is a constant presence in our lives. It dictates everything we do, how long we sleep, how much time we have for work, and how much longer we can procrastinate before we have to meet a deadline. Time is so ingrained in our daily routines that it feels almost like a part of our existence, something that we can't escape, no matter how hard we try. But what if I told you that everything you've come to understand about time, about its flow and structure, could be entirely wrong? What if time, as we know it, is not a fundamental feature of the universe, but rather an illusion that only exists because of the strange nature of quantum mechanics? This might sound like the stuff of science fiction, or even philosophical musings, but it's not just a far-fetched idea. In fact, it's a hypothesis that has been gaining serious attention in the scientific community. New research in the field of quantum physics is suggesting that time, the very concept we rely on to organize our lives, may not exist in the way we think it does. Instead, it might be a byproduct of quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that has puzzled and fascinated physicists for decades. This research suggests that time could simply be an illusion, emerging from the complex interactions of quantum systems, rather than a fundamental aspect of the universe. If this theory holds true, it could change everything we know about the fabric of reality itself and could even reshape our understanding of the universe from the smallest particles to the grandest cosmic structures. To understand this radical idea, we need to first explore the concept of time itself. We often think of time as a straight, unyielding river that flows from the past, through the present, and into the future. It's a framework that helps us make sense of the world around us. We have calendars to mark the days, clocks to measure the seconds, and schedules to ensure that we make the most of our limited time. Time is something we measure, track, and depend on to organize our lives. But while time is something we experience every single day, it's also something that is incredibly difficult to define or understand on a deeper level. The question of what time really is has fascinated philosophers and scientists for centuries. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest minds of the 20th century, revolutionized our understanding of time with his theory of relativity. According to Einstein, time is not an absolute, unchanging force. Instead, time is intertwined with space in a fabric known as space-time. In his theory of general relativity, Einstein proposed that space and time are not separate entities but are part of a single, unified whole. The fabric of space-time can be warped and stretched by the presence of mass and energy, meaning that time is not a fixed, universal constant. In fact, time can behave differently depending on the strength of the gravitational field. For example, time passes more slowly near massive objects like planets and stars due to the warping of space-time. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed through numerous experiments and is a fundamental aspect of modern physics. However, Einstein's theory of relativity only accounts for time on the large scale, on the level of planets, stars, and galaxies. When it comes to the behavior of particles at the quantum level, things get a lot more complicated. Quantum mechanics, the theory that governs the behavior of particles on the smallest scales, tells us that the universe behaves in ways that seem completely foreign to our everyday experience. In the quantum world, particles don't have definite properties until they are measured. They exist in a state of uncertainty, known as superposition, where they can be in multiple states at once. For example, an electron might be in two different positions at the same time, or even spinning in two different directions simultaneously. It is only when an observation is made that the particle chooses a particular state. One of the most famous thought experiments in quantum mechanics is Schrodinger's cat. Imagine a cat locked in a box with a vial of poison that will be released based on the decay of a radioactive atom. If the atom decays, the poison is released and the cat dies. If the atom doesn't decay, the cat remains alive. According to quantum mechanics, until the box is opened and the cat is observed, it exists in a superposition of both alive and dead states at the same time. This paradox challenges our classical understanding of reality, suggesting that, at the quantum level, things are not as fixed and determined as we might think. Time itself, as it exists in the everyday world, doesn't seem to behave in the same way in the quantum realm. 
At the quantum level, the concept of time seems more fluid, more uncertain, and more connected to the interactions of particles than we would expect from our macroscopic view of the universe. This is where the idea of time as an illusion begins to gain traction. In the world of quantum mechanics, particles are not just isolated entities. They can become entangled, meaning that their properties are linked in such a way that the state of one particle can instantaneously affect the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, is one of the strangest and most baffling aspects of quantum mechanics. It appears to defy the classical understanding of space and time, as information seems to travel faster than the speed of light. Einstein famously referred to this as spooky action at a distance, because it suggested that particles could influence one another in a way that seemed to bypass the usual limitations imposed by the speed of light. But while entanglement seems to violate some of the basic principles of classical physics, it is a well-documented phenomenon that has been repeatedly observed in experiments. And it is this very phenomenon that could hold the key to understanding the true nature of time. According to recent research, time might not be a fundamental property of the universe at all. Instead, it could be an emergent property that arises from the entanglement of quantum particles. This theory, known as the emergent time hypothesis, suggests that time is not a fixed, independent dimension, but rather a result of the complex interactions between particles. Just as temperature emerges from the movement of molecules or pressure arises from the collective behavior of atoms, time might emerge from the relationships between quantum systems. This is a radical idea, one that challenges everything we thought we knew about time. If time is merely a byproduct of quantum entanglement, then it would not be a fundamental feature of the universe. Instead, it would be a product of the way particles interact with one another a kind of illusion that arises from the entanglement of quantum states. This would mean that time, as we experience it, is not an absolute force that governs the universe, but rather a phenomenon that is shaped by the intricate web of quantum connections. So, what does this mean for the way we understand the universe? If time is an illusion, does this mean that the past and future don't exist in any meaningful way? Does it mean that everything is happening all at once, that the distinction between past, present, and future is simply a construct of our minds? The implications of this theory are profound, and they go beyond just the concept of time. If time is not a fundamental aspect of reality, then what about other things we take for granted, like cause and effect, or the arrow of time? These are questions that physicists are still grappling with, and there is much we don't yet understand. But what if we could find a way to manipulate time? What if we could bend it, stretch it, or even travel through it. While this might sound like science fiction, it is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. In fact, the idea of time travel has been a topic of serious theoretical discussion among physicists for decades. In the framework of general relativity, time is not a constant, unchanging force, it is a malleable dimension that can be warped and distorted by massive objects. For example, if you were to travel near a black hole, where the gravitational pull is incredibly strong, time would slow down relative to someone who is farther away from the black hole. This phenomenon, known as gravitational time dilation, has been confirmed by numerous experiments and is one of the most remarkable predictions of Einstein's theory. But could time travel be possible in a more practical sense? Could we travel back in time, or forward into the future? in a way that defies our everyday experience of time? Theoretically, it might be possible. Physicist Kip Thorne has proposed that time travel could be achieved through the use of a wormhole, a hypothetical tunnel through spacetime that connects two distant points in the universe. Wormholes, if they exist, could allow for shortcuts between different regions of space and time, potentially enabling time travel. However, creating a wormhole would require enormous amounts of energy, far beyond anything humanity can currently harness. It is also unclear whether wormholes could actually be stable enough to allow for time travel without collapsing. Another potential method of time travel involves the use of rotating black holes, or curved black holes, which are believed to have a unique structure that could allow for the possibility of time travel. According to Thorne's calculations, if you were to orbit around such a black hole, you might be able to travel through time. However, just like with wormholes, the energy required to make this possible would be astronomical. 
At present, we don't have the technology or energy resources to create a time machine, but the theoretical framework for time travel is rooted in the same principles that govern the structure of space-time itself. But what about paradoxes? What happens if we travel back in time and change something, like preventing a historical event or altering our own personal timeline? These are questions that have fascinated philosophers and scientists alike. One possible resolution to these paradoxes is the concept of self-consistency, which suggests that any action you take in the past would already be part of the timeline you come from, meaning that you could never change anything that would lead to a contradiction. In other words, even if you traveled back in time and tried to change the past, the universe would correct itself to prevent any paradoxes from occurring. This idea is reminiscent of the time travel logic seen in movies like Back to the Future, where changes to the past lead to alternate timelines or parallel universes. According to this view, time travel might not be a matter of changing the past, but rather branching off into a new timeline. Each decision you make in the past could create a new branch in the timeline, leading to a different future. As you can see, time is not just a simple, linear progression from one moment to the next. It is a concept that is deeply intertwined with the fabric of the universe, shaped by the interactions of particles, the warping of space-time, and the strange rules of quantum mechanics. Whether or not we can ever truly understand the nature of time, or manipulate it in any meaningful way, is still a question that remains unanswered. But as our understanding of the universe deepens, it seems increasingly likely that the concept of time as we know it is only the tip of the iceberg, a small piece of a much larger, more complex puzzle that we have yet to fully grasp. In the end, time may be less of a constant, and more of a malleable concept that bends and shifts in ways that are beyond our current comprehension. So, what can we say about time? Is it real, or is it just an illusion? Well, maybe it's a bit of both. Time, as we experience it, may not be a fundamental part of the universe. It might just be a product of the way quantum systems interact with each other, a fleeting illusion that emerges from the entanglement of particles. But the mysteries of time, its nature, its origins, and its ultimate fate, are far from solved. And as we continue to probe the deepest questions of physics and reality, we might just uncover answers that will challenge everything we thought we knew about time, space, and the universe itself.